Slang in Literary Sagas, A Wordy Adventure. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll dive deep into the captivating world of literature. But not just any literature, we're focusing on slang and colloquialisms found in various literary genres. Understanding slang in literature can give you a richer grasp of the culture and nuances of the English language. Historical fiction is a genre that's set in the past, with real historical events interwoven with fictional characters and plots. Here, you'll often find slang that's reflective of the era the story is set in. For example, in novels set during the Victorian era, you might come across the term, giggle mug, which was a colloquial term for someone who's always smiling. Venture into the realms of the future or mythical lands, and you'll encounter slang words that might not even exist in our current dictionary. These genres are creative playgrounds for authors, and they often invent slang to fit futuristic or magical societies. For instance, in the Dune series by Frank Herbert, Freeman refers to the native people of the planet Arrakis. Or in the Harry Potter series, Muggle is a slang term for someone without magical abilities. The underbelly of society, dark alleys, and suspense-filled rooms. Crime and mystery novels are rife with slang, especially when depicting the gritty reality of the streets or the jargon of detectives. Words like, flatfoot, a police officer, or, gumshoe, a detective, especially a private one, might pop up frequently in these stories. Ya fiction, which targets teenagers and young adults, is particularly known for capturing the evolving slang of younger generations. From high school dramas to dystopian futures, the slang used often reflects the voice of the youth. Terms like, salty, to be bitter or angry about something, or, lit, something that's really good or exciting, are examples of modern slang that might appear in these novels. Ah, the language of love, but beyond the flowery descriptions and passionate dialogues, romance novels can also have their share of slang, particularly when depicting casual dialogues or specific time periods. For instance, Old flame is a colloquial term for a former lover or romantic partner. Literature is a beautiful mirror reflecting the society of its time, including the ever-evolving slang and colloquialisms. By understanding the slang in various genres, not only do we enhance our vocabulary, but we also get a clearer, more nuanced picture of the world the author has painted. We hope this journey through literary slang has been enlightening. Until next time, keep reading and expanding those horizons.